Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Welcome to another episode of Sensei Talks. My name is Aman, and in this video, we're gonna discuss the use of G73 code in CNC turning. Also, at the end, we're gonna discuss the difference between G71, G72, and G73. So, watch this video till the very end, and let's roll. The use of G73 is approximately similar to that of G71 and G72. So before you watch this video, uh, make sure to watch the video of G71 and G72 code. G73 is basically a pattern repeating CAN cycle, which means uh, it simply repeats the same pattern again and again until we meet our exact size. So now uh, let's consider a cylindrical bar of length 90 mm and of diameter 100 mm and let us suppose we need to make this shape out of it. Uh, so as you can clearly see this is our tool path and I have numbered it from 1 to 6 which means uh, the points from 1 to 6 is our tool path. So we need to remove exactly this much amount of material. So when we use G73, uh, our tool will follow this same pattern again and again until we reach the exact size we require. So as you can clearly see, uh, our tool path starting from point 1 will become like this from point 1 to point 6. So when we use G73 for this component, our tool will repeat this path again and again with a different depth of cut and at last uh, reaching the final dimension we need. So it means our tool initially starting from this position start removing the material this way until it reaches the exact amount of dimension we require. So now let's make a program uh, using G73 for this component. So as always, uh, we'll just start the program with the program number uh, followed by the home position code which is G28. T01 is to call the tool number 1 with an offset number 1. G92 is for maximum spindle speed which means S1000. So in this case, our spindle speed is now going to exceed uh, 1000. And G96 for constant cutting speed and S700 is the RPM value and M03 to start the spindle in clockwise direction. So the first thing we need to do is to call our tool anywhere near the workpiece. So I use G0 which is a rapid interpolation uh, to call our tool rapidly uh, from our tool turret to at a position of X102 and Z2. So this is our zero point. So X102 which means at this position and Z2 which is 2mm on Z axis. So our tool will rapidly jump to X102 and Z2. So now we will simply use G73 uh, for this program. Uh, since our tool is already at this position which is X102 and Z2. So from now we will use G73, U.5 and W.5. So here in this case U.5 defines the depth of cut of 0.5 mm along X axis and also W.5 defines the depth of cut of 0.5 mm along Z axis and R35 uh, simply defines the retraction amount of 35. Since uh, this profile is not straight, uh, there are different kind of arcs. So we need to give a higher retraction point so that our tool uh, will not strike at any of its parts. So with the retraction amount of 35, whenever one pattern is completed, our tool will lift 35 mm upside and again repeat the same pattern with 
depth of cut of 0.5 along x axis and of 0.5 along z axis so in the second line p100 and q200 defines the uh, initial line and the final line of our tool path so as you know our tool path starts from point 1 and end up at point 6 so we we'll just need to make a tool movement from point 1 to point 6 and the initial line which is uh, when our tool is at point 1 will be termed as n100 and the final line when our tool is at point 6 will be termed as n200 so uh, as you can see from here to this point this is a tool path from point 1 to point 6 so uh, the first line will be denoted as n100 and the last line will be denoted as n200 this is why the value of p is 100 and the value of q is 200 also uh, u and w defines the finishing alliance along x and z axis so let us suppose i give the value of u.1 and w.1 so in this case after finishing the whole part uh, our tool will leave a margin of 0.1 mm on x axis and also of 0.1 mm on z axis so we need to use at least g70 at the end to remove the margin of 0.1 mm uh, for proper finishing and for final cut but in this case i have used u0 and w0 which means there is no need for using a g70 now I'll further call our tool from this position to our initial point. So I'll just give the value of G0 x40. Uh, it means our tool will rapidly move from this position to x40 which is approximately at this position. After that from point 1 to point 2 we can easily use G01 at point 2 the value of x is 80 and at point 2 the value of z is 20 mm so we we'll just use x80 and z20 with a feed rate of 0.2 so in this line our tool will move from this position to position 2 with a feed rate of 0.2 furthermore from point 2 to 3 we can again use g01 and in this case the distance of point 3 along z axis is 20 plus 10 which is 30 so we'll just give the value of z minus 30 and our tool will easily move from point 2 to point 3 keeping the feed point 2 so now uh, since our tool is at point 3 and we need to move our tool from point 3 to point 4 in clockwise direction so for clockwise direction we use g02 and the coordinates of point 4 so at point 4 the value of z is 60 mm and the radius of this arc is 30 so uh, by using g02 our tool will move from position 3 to position 4 in clockwise direction making an arc of 30 mm so after point 4 we can use g01 to move our tool from point 4 to point 5 uh, by using g01 so g0 at point 5 the value of z is 70 mm so we easily use g01 z minus 70 so our tool from point 4 will move to point 5 with a feed rate of 0.2 and furthermore from point 5 to point 6 we we'll use g01 and the value of x is 100 up to this point but we'll move our tool 2mm more to cross the whole part so we'll get the value of x102 so uh, that is how our tool from point 5 will move out from our component so at the end we'll give g28 for home position m05 to stop the spindle and m02 to end the program now uh, let's discuss the difference between g71 
G72 and G73. So as I have created three blocks and the shaded portion is the area we need to remove. So uh, if we use G71 for this block, our tool will move along x axis by removing the material in this way. That is how using G71 this part can be made. Uh, similarly, if we use G72 for this component, our tool will move along the face, which means along Z axis, removing the material in this way. So, that is how this part can be made using G72. While G73 is pattern fitting, uh, as you can see, this is our tool path in this case. So, our tool will follow this tool path until we reach the required dimension. So, our tool will start moving from this point following the tool path with different depth of cut and finally finishing the part in this way. So, that is how these three codes can be used differently. So, when it comes to coding, there is a slight difference between G71, G72 and G73. So in G71, in the very first line, we use the value of U as a depth of cut along X axis. Uh, since you all know, in G71, our tool moves along X axis. So that is why in this case, we give the depth of cut as the value of U. Uh, similarly, in G72, we give the value of w.5 since we know in this case our tool moves along the face so in this case we use the value of w.5 which defines the depth of cut of 0.5 along z axis so similarly in g73 uh, since you all know g73 is a pattern repeating and our tool moves both in x and in z direction as well so in this case we will give the value of u and w as well for the depth of cut along x and z axis. So as you can clearly see, this is the only difference between G71, 2 and 3, uh, while all the other codes will remain exactly the same. So that was all from my side today. If you find this video informative, do share with the friends and give it a big thumbs up. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.